This video is about how to optimize quick CPU to fix CPU bottleneck, boost FPS, and get smoother gaming performance on Windows. Before applying these settings, my CPU was hitting 100% in games while my GPU sat waiting. After optimizing with quick CPU, I got a massive FPS jump and way better 1% lows. So make sure to watch this complete video. All right. So in the very first step, you need to download Quick CPU on your PC and you will find the link in my video description. So download and install Quick CPU. Once you open Quick CPU, this is the main dashboard. You'll see your CPU temperature, clock speed, utilization and core info right here at the top. This gives you a real time view of how your CPU is behaving. Now down here, you'll see sliders for core parking, frequency scaling, turbo boost. By default, these aren't maxed out, which means your CPU isn't performing at its full potential. So, in here in the vert first step, you need quick CPU power plan, which is most optimized. For creating the power plan, click on options in the vert top and click install power plan. Next, we'll start by setting these sliders for maximum gaming performance. Set core parking to 100% unparked. This makes sure all your CPU cores stay active, so your games can use every bit of performance. Set frequency, scaling to 100%. This prevents Windows from downclocking your CPU during gameplay. And keep Turbo Boost on. That allows your CPU to push higher clock speeds when needed. Then make sure the performance slash energy policy is set to performance. Finally, click apply at the bottom. Already, your CPU will feel more responsive and stop throttling itself unnecessarily. Now, click on menu and go for advanced CPU settings. Next, click on the turbo limits and ratios tab. Here you'll see turbo power limits and turbo ratios. We're not doing extreme overclocking here, just unlocking safe performance. Under turbo power limits, make sure short term power limit and long term power limit are both set to their maximum safe range, usually around 65 to 90 watts, depending on your CPU. This allows your CPU to boost longer without instantly throttling down. Now scroll down to turbo ratios. If your CPU supports it, you can slightly bump up the ratio for all cores by one step. For example, from 45X to 46X. If you're not comfortable, leave it at default. Stability is more important. Next, go to the speed shift tab. Make sure speed shift driver available is checked. If it's not, enable Intel speed shift in your BIOS. Then look for maximum allowed performance and drag it all the way to the right. That's 100%. This allows your CPU to instantly boost when needed without delay, which helps eliminate input lag and sudden FPS drops during gameplay. Click apply again to save. Now head over to the FIVR control tab. This section lets you adjust voltage and core behavior, but we're keeping things safe and simple here. Just make sure CPU core and cache control are both enabled and that voltage offset is 0.000 volts. We're not undervolting in this guide. If you notice any power throttling, you can increase the power limit slightly, but don't go crazy here. These small changes ensure stable clocks without overheating or crashing. Now restart your PC. This is important, so all registry and power changes apply fully. After restarting, open your favorite game and check performance. You should see better CPU usage, fewer drops and smoother gameplay, especially in CPU heavy titles like Warzone, Fortnite or Battlefield. And that's it. You've now optimized Quick CPU safely for the best balance of performance, stability, and smooth gaming. No risky overclocking, just smart tuning that brings out your CPU's real power. If this guide helped you fix CPU bottleneck and boost FPS, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what CPU you're using. Thanks for watching. This is Ripex, and I'll see you in the next optimization guide.